A few years ago, a few of us that were in the world of motorsport were thinking about the future. We thought that there was really the need for a new kind of motorsport that would focus on sustainability and on new technologies. And that's from late. Because it will be electric, it will be cheaper to operate, it will be faster, it will be more exciting. With the Smart Cities program and the Formula E Championship, we want to show that cities and their leaders have feasible solutions towards sustainable transportation. The idea was to create a championship that would take these cars to cities all around the world, to bring them closer to the people and also to promote the development of the technology. Electric mobility is uh, advancing in terms of the infrastructure. You can actually have your e-vehicle charged without having a challenging infrastructure systems and installations. So we're here actually now at the pit walk, which tell us a little bit about what they do here at the track, what kind of technologies they implement to make sure that technologies will eventually transfer from these garages into the roads. We've seen development on the efficiency of the motors. We've seen development in the battery itself, which is the big frontier for electric cars. As of the next season, the batteries will last for the whole duration of the race, so the teams and the drivers will not need to change their vehicles anymore. That is going to be a very visible demonstration of how quickly this technology is evolving and of the role of Formula E and of competition in that process of evolution of the electric car technology. The whole ecosystem of the industry of fossil fuels has to change. We are doing our part here on, on making this technology being accepted faster. I think it's great to be in Santiago. Chile has the biggest reserves in the world of copper and of lithium. There are four times more copper in an electric car than in a combustion car. And lithium is the key for the batteries. So Chile can really play a huge role in the future of the transformation of mobility, having batteries that store the energy from the sun, from the wind, to power the planet with sustainable energy. So it's really exciting to be in Chile. Yesterday I went on the top of a hill in Santiago and I could not see the mountain. And I thought that in 15 years, if all the cars in the city are electric, I'm going to be able to see that mountain. Sports has a remarkable reach as a vehicle for motivating society to embrace sustainability. There are a lot more sport fans than environmentalists. Through sport, you can catch the imagination of the fans and you can introduce messages. We need to embrace the solutions and new technologies that will drive our future. We are racers, we like to race, we like to compete, and we need to preserve our planet so we have a chance for long-term survival.